When you want line details to stand out in your drawing or need to change specific colors in a document, the color processing tool makes it easy to quickly edit and adjust colors in a PDF. You have six color processing options to choose from. Modify colors lets you replace selected colors in the PDF with new ones. This option affects only vector elements, not raster images. Colorize converts all colors in the PDF to a single color scale, while still preserving the distinction between lighter and darker areas. Grayscale changes all colors in the PDF to shades of gray. Black and white converts all vector colors in the PDF to pure black and white. Luminosity, saturation, and hue allows you to adjust all colors in the PDF based on these properties. Mask Images creates transparent areas in an image that correspond to a single color. To use any of these options, go to Document and select Color Processing. Then choose your desired color process from the drop-down menu. With the Modify Colors option, you can easily change specific colors within your document. For example, if you want mechanical elements to stand out from the structural drawing, you can change or lighten their colors. Click the source color to bring up a dialog displaying all available colors in the drawing. In this example, you might select the gray used for structural elements and then choose a lighter gray to replace it. If you want to change the color of the mechanical elements, select their source color and then pick a new color to make them stand out. The preview pane will show you the current color information and how your document will look after the changes. When using the Colorize option, the Select Color setting changes the darkest elements of the drawing to your chosen color, while the To setting changes the lightest parts. The Scale Color option uses the same luminosity information when changing colors, and the Process Images checkbox will apply color changes to any image in the document if you select it. For luminosity, saturation, and hue adjustments, simply move the sliders to your preference. Once you're happy with these settings, click OK. Note that if you perform these actions on a page containing flattened markups, those markups cannot be unflattened in the future.